we have heard about a lot of places being restricted for human trespassing, but eventually at some time they are opened up for tourism. But these eight places are not just bought for human visits. They have remained so secretive for all these years that we never ever got a wind of their existence until now. To step into these places, one either needs to be a crazy scientist or a researcher or a serious royalty. North Sentinel Island It is one of the Andaman Islands in Bay of Bengal, which covers an area of roughly 20 square kilometers, surrounded by coral reefs in all the directions. It is inhabited by 450 Sentinelese, who are extremely protective of their isolation and apparently one of the last groups to resist contact with the modern world. Les Caves Situated in south of France, these Paleolithic cave paintings are believed to be over 20,000 years old. These paintings are mostly of animals. An 18-year-old young man named Marcel Ravidat discovered the entrance of Les Cave on September 12, 1940. After years of exploration, the cave was opened for public in year 1948. Soon it was observed that the exhaled carbon dioxide from visitors visibly damaged the painting. Thus, the tourism was stopped and caves have been closed since 1963. Only a handful of scientists are allowed to visit it. Metro Tomb It is the informal name to a long rumored secret metro system beneath Moscow, codenamed as D6 and supposedly made by Joseph Stalin. It can accommodate 30,000 people and connects Kremlin to Federal Security Service headquarters. Ice Grand Shrine The Ice Grand Shrine in Japan, which is actually a series of over 100 shrines, is the most sacred shrine in Japan. It has been in existence since 4 BC. This ranks very high on the list of places you will never see in person because the only allowed humans are either the priest or priestess and that he or she must be a member of the Japanese imperial family. East Rennell, Solomon Islands East Rennell is a World UNESCO heritage site that ironically lies to the south of the Rennell Islands which are a part of the Solomon Islands archipelago. It is believed that some of the giants, local natives on this island, are still known for their sickening hat hunting and cannibalism. Easter Island, Chile. Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, located in the Pacific Ocean, is one of the most remote places in the world. Though it is technically a part of Chile, the ancient culture of this land is unique to its isolated inhabitants. Snake Island On Snake Island, located off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, we'll find at least one snake every square meter. In perspective, for every second step you take, you for sure will step on a snake or certainly be bitten by one. The most common snake found on this island is the critically endangered golden pit viper with a bite that delivers hemotoxin venom. In order to protect the viper, this island was sealed off by the Brazilian Navy and now is closed to general public. Scientists and explorers studying the golden pit viper may visit the island but after obtaining special permissions. Povelia, Italy, a small island located between Venice and Lido in the Venetian Lagoon, northern Italy. For centuries, Povelia has been a refuge, a stronghold, a place of exile, and a dumping ground for the diseased and deceased. In 1348, the bubonic plague arrived in Venice, and Povelia, like many other small islands, became a quarantine colony 
during the unbridled spread of the disease. When it's exiled, many of its symptoms bearing citizens there. At the island center, the dead and the dying who were mistaken for dead bodies were burned on giant pyres. These fires would burn once more in 1630 when the Black Death again swept through the city. The island contains one or more plague pits. Some estimates suggest that one lakh people died on the island over the centuries. Till date, people fear to step near the area. That's all for today. See you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.